Hey there everybody, Fett here, and welcome back to Auto Saving RimWorld of Magic Royalty 1.2. Auto Saving and Auto Mating, more like. Dude, we are making any stone blocks times three with automatic precision. And uh, we would be making steel slag, but uh, we ran out of steel. And we're using a lot, so, you know, to be fair. Now this one takes power, but it does not take any fuel. So our industrial stonework can make industrial stone all industrial dang day. And we can make it create like trophies apparently. We can make it convert stuff in the wood. We can have it make tablets. We can have it make statues, including statues of colonists. I mean, this is all neat. It's not anything amazing. It's not something we have to have, but, you know, it's an automatic thing that does a thing all day. Automatically. In a very thing-like manner. It's amazing. Hey, the boys are coming home. 1.1 days. They'll make it. I mean, I hope. It'd be kind of sad if they didn't. Uh, solar roofing is going up. It's going up in a way that we can't be using it all at the same time, which is a little awkward, but... Once it's connected, we'll be pumping out so much power here, you won't believe it. I'm telling you, your butt will be twisted. And we need to hit 30,000. And then that's that's the money right there. Well, we're at 30,000. And we've researched automatic farming. And automatic drilling. Now, for the automatic drilling, we're probably going to have to be careful where we put it. Hey, it's time to cost some steel. Nice. Simply because we know that it can cause a uh dude, there's like a bunch of berry bushes around here we know that they can cause problems and by problems i mean bugs so let's be a little little choosy on where this thing ends up going but it'll be fine now go ahead and research the stockpile those these are surprisingly expensive to research it's fine though because we've got a lot of people on research like a ridiculous amount of people on research. Okay, we're out of steel again. This is just a fact of life at this point. But we're making more steel. Which is also a fact of life. And you can see the animals lining up to bring in these steel slag chunks. You know? So you know it's coming together. Yo, Tim. I want you to do something for me. Where are you at? Where are you at, Tim? Tim's over here, taking horse meat, but don't worry about your horse meat. I want you to come down here and make me a better sword. Also, would we happen to know where that less good sword is? Is it in one of these? It's not a sword, it's a club. Um, but is it in one of these? That's the mace. No. Where is that club at? Because I know we have one. I saw it. In here? I don't remember what material it was made out of. Something not great. Well, it's going to take a while to find it, apparently. That's okay, because this, this is our priority right this minute. Transmutation station on this baby. Right now, it's our column, which is actually not a very good cutting material. So, no matter what... Oh, no, they're out of food. Did all the food... Uh, de wait, did all the food deteriorate? Are they actually out? They got some berries. But, yeah, they are practically out of food. They will arrive home in one day, and most of them have had plenty of food. So, I think they'll be fine. Uh, Tim, 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 Tim. He has made a Star Steel Bastard Sword. It's, it is much better. 24 damage per second. You stab it for a 41. Alright, that's good. That's real good. What's the uh, numbers on the... Yeah, I know they ran out of food. What's the numbers on Star Steel? Sharp damage. 200%. Nice. Alright. Now make one out of something absolutely insane. Hit me up with that Beta Poly. You know it's possible. 
hyper alloy. There's the money. 98 damage per second sword. That's it. That's where we're going to keep it. 500% damage. And a 50% on the cooldown, too. So you can swing it faster than a normal sword, even. All right. Thank. Reynold will thank you when he gets home, too. Because that's going to be his new sword. It's replacing, uh, I think, this thing? Oh, God, yes, it is. Although we could... Actually, we could level this up, too. This is not usable with shields. The Bastard Sword technically is. But, uh... Incoming damage... Oh, this might actually be better to level up, though. Or to, you know, make out of better quality. I don't know anymore. <laughs> okay. Thunder could use a better sword. Uh, Zenus, you are... Not actually a melee guy. Plus, you have a lightsaber, which is kind of cool. You know? Silvermane, you do have a nice hammer. I mean, it is a, it is a big hammer. I should make you a better hammer. I think that's what I might do. I might make you a better hammer. What do we have as far as, you know, hammers? I want, I want him to have the best beaten stick here on the, on the rim. Make a heavy mace. You could apparently make an elephant tusk weapon. Huh. Can you make it out of stuff? That's the question. Uh... You can make it out of textiles and leathers. That'll only do so much. It's not useful. Uh, let's see. A flail? Yo. A pole hammer, though. It's a problem in tight quarters, though. Give him a nice morning star. It is a slapper. Give him a flail. Grants the flexibility to strike over shields. A nice flanged mace. Honestly, a heavy flail. A spalder. That's armor. All right, I want to give Silvermane the biggest hit and stick. So craft them bot seven, make it happen. Doesn't even matter what you make it out of. It literally doesn't. You could make it out of wood, and it wouldn't matter because we can we could do this to it, and it'll be amazing. Zenith over here practicing practicing his melee skill. Okay, do we have a connected area yet? Oh, we're about to. Which is good, because right now we're still connected to only 23. So these are making eh, about 4,500 power. Which is good. Needless to say. But, when they're connected... Oh dear, my goodness. 103... There, that's... Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Mm, feels good. Uh, efficient farming, 4. Alright. Harvest yield and stuff is... Pretty damn high now. Yeah, yeah. 20, 229 speed. 91% harvest yield. Why is your harvest yield so bad, Kaliso? Okay. Manipulation, good. Plant skill, good. Ah, because you're a gladiator. Apparently, gladiators just aren't good at plants. Well, that sucks. Bulpy, you should be a bit higher then. 115. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good stuff. Good stuff. Who's our best plant worker? 13... 12, uh, 12 on Fran. Doesn't surprise me that she's good at it. 140%! Heck yeah! I'm guessing our bots right now are out, uh... Yeah, harvesting that stuff. That's kind of what I thought. Swim speed, huh? Yeah, you can't really get harvest size off of these guys. We know they're equivalent to a level 20, though. That's probably, like, you know, what's important, but... Yes! Over 8,000! And that's just from this one... That's just from the library. Our solar-ass library, man. It's so good. Yeah, I don't... I don't think we're ever gonna have that thing full again, to be honest. 
And I assume this is doing work pretty well. Uh, something's happening. Not sure what. Is it a raid? Is it a trader? Is it a trade raid? Is there a raid trader? Do they trade raids? Oh, it's a... I want my orb of souls, my ring of keen intellect, and my devil strand arcane hood. It's 14 settlers from the gray bush. About to give them my gray fist. Up the ass. All right. Let's do it. Need any map for a new encounter? Please wait a moment. All right, what are you starting right in the middle of the map, huh? Uh, what are you? What are you dead? You, you not actually exist? This guy apparently doesn't actually exist. Uh, what do you got? Uh, lever action rifle. All right, that's fine. Nothing, nothing terribly scary to be honest with you. Pretty sure they'll uh, get the business. Well, we started shooting. One of them has lost an arm. Uh-oh, Kirk. What is Kirk? Kirk is an at... an atronach. An anomaly among spellcasters. Capable of powerful spells, but they are completely out of tune with the flow of magic and do not regenerate mana. They must find their own sources of mana with which to fuel their spells. Huh. He also has kidney disease, so, you know. We also have fire. Lots of fire. I like our fire. Uh, bolts coming. Shadow bolts coming. Uh, get out of the way, guys. Size down. Oh, no. He's been shadowed. Oh, God. He's still getting shadowed. He's lost a finger and a tail. He's losing even more. Hyena. Heal Sai quickly before he's dead. Okay. Woo. He healed him enough to get him back up, like, immediately. Because he's a boss. Throw down a healing zone here. Those are apparently some super powerful shadows. I mean, Sai is up. He still lost a middle finger and a tail, but we can eventually get those saved. They're withered, actually, so we might be able to just... Re um, might be able to save them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can save them when we get home. Oh, jeez! What the hell was that? The shadows. Magically mute. Okay. Oh, no! Ah, oh, crap! You can't cast anything. Apparently it doesn't work on Ray Ray, which is good. Okay. Me. Aim at Kirk. Get this bastard out of here, man! His spells are frigging us up! Also, this guy is apparently invincible. Alright, Kirk is down. We're done. They fought until there was only one of them left. I'll give him credit. What the hell? Oh yeah, it's you. The one guy I couldn't select for some reason. Allow everything. Alright, he's still bleeding from those, so... Can I... Don't arrest anybody. Who's our best medical person here? Is it really Hyena? I mean, that's a surprise. Tactically, it's Raynal. Uh, Ray Ray. Undraft. Please don't arrest Sai. Hyena, undraft. Yeah, don't. We're not arresting here. Although, I just noticed he's no longer drafted. Alright, I guess we can go into these and see what's going on here, but, uh. That was a thing that happened. Alright. Yeah, I'd rather you try to tend to him. But I guess that's fine. Uh, Vasilla, Vasilla, you had to choose over there to Cloud Watch. Why? What the hell is wrong with you? Alright, these this this is nothing worth keeping. <laughs> Let's go. We're going home. Alright. We already know it. I don't think there's anything I need to pick up here. Don't want their crappy clothing. Probably don't want their weapons. I mean, the revolvers, hand cannons. Nothing that great. A carbine. Probably the best thing here. A little bit of a burst shot. Fine double barrel shotty. Normal quality, but fine. Normally fine, even. Grab their food. And what about them? What do we got over here? Turk the Collector. He dead eight hours. 
honestly he's missing a lot. He's, he, his stomach was shot out of him. Poor greedy nudist. KD, the bodyguard. Misogynist, boundless monk. The boundless monk's pretty good. Missing a toe. Death in 23 hours. Well, we can pick him up. Welcome to the, the group here, KD. Uh, Duran, the actor. Hates dumb labor. I don't like that. Uh, dead in three hours. He's, he's gone. Well, I think KD's a good pickup. Nude Daniel. Nude. Nud? It seems like nude. But I could be wrong. Okay, KD, welcome to the team of prisoners. Speedy. Psychically sensitive, hates dumb labor. I mean, ugh. Patrick the Rancher. Body purist. Kind, gay. I'm really worried about that body purist one. Everything else is, okay. well, not, not really okay. Xenophobe's not great. But he's a kind xenophobe. Please understand. We could take him. At the very least, make him a prisoner. And Felinus the Collector. He is asexual. He's a misogynist. He's a hive mind. He's a careful shooter. And he's mostly just been burned. All right. All right, lads. Head on home. 2.2 days. It's going to take a while. Uh, well, I was going to say, I just realized we don't have any food, but they technically did take some food. So, we have meals. They should be able to make it home. Katie, the bodyguard, is no longer incapable of walking. I just remembered that I left my phone's noise on. What a goof I am, huh? What a goofy doofy. Anyway, no worries. More slag being dropped off. It's lovely. Dude, we got two working on stone over here. I mean, obviously, Bubal is going to be a little bit faster. But there's there's 60 blocks here. Thing is, the industrial stone works. It works day. It works night. It basically works anything. And it works. Because it just worked right there. Boom. 60 limestone. Done zo. And also, yep, 85.33. God, I love it when a plan comes together. What are we working on now? Automatic farming. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I'm probably going to need to make more of these, but that's okay. 200 steel. I mean... Considering how much steel we just threw into this, and now that project is done, and we don't have to worry about power pretty much anymore. The whole thing speaks for itself. It's fantastic. And this thing pumps out steel so fast. It's like, surprisingly fast. I wanna see it get done. I wanna see myself throw down some more. Industrial work. Oh! Blueford Journal. Alright, well. Wasn't expecting a journal. I guess that's okay, though. Well, well written. Thank you, Callisti. That, that was not my expectation. Oh, yeah! Robotic arm and simple machine frame. I forgot about those. Yo, let's... Uh, give me a simple machine frame. What is it? Two, two arms or one arm? For the meat grinder. Two arms. Okay, yeah. And then we'll need the vacuum hopper, of course. But then we'll be good. It just... It picks up meat. Meat goes into the grinder. The grind... Well, no, it doesn't pick up meat. It picks up corpses. Corpses go into the grinder. Corpses become meat. Hunt... Uh, not the silver dragon. Try to tame the silver dragon. Oh, dear. That's amazing. Uh, thunder with more... More melee... Might. Might. That's the phrase I was thinking of. Silver ass dragons, dude. Alright, we're not gonna try to hunt it, though. We're gonna try to tame it. Everything else can be hunted, though. I want them moved in here. In here, where they will eventually become meat. And it'll be great. We don't have to worry about power anymore, so we shouldn't have to worry about this frozen column. However, there's still one other thing that could take that away. EMI shielding. You would need 25,000 kilowatts of power to create an 
a localized magnetosphere. So the chances we'll actually be able to use that in the long term, probably very low, but it should help to some degree. Actually, no. I think during the day we have over 25,000. And if that's true, we should be able to be protected from from solar flares. Ooh. Dude, things are nuts right now. Things are nuts. Mask is already working on uh, the robotic cans. It looks like Mr. Mask. And basic cultivation drones are done. Drone cultivator. Requires two drone modules, some steel, some plasteel, and three components. But in theory, they will plant and harvest crops within an area. And not even, well, it shouldn't be in theory. It should actually do it. So we would need a second machine frame. So we'll build one more. And it looks like it is a simple one. And then two drone modules. Ooh, a new leather uh, quest. Yeah. Devlin's Secret. 16-year-old bookworm named Devlin is calling from nearby. She's begging to join you. She's unwilling to tell you more about herself. Well, I mean, some kind of threat following Devlin. Do we have extra beds? Do we have an unowned bed? I, we do. We actually do. I mean... Yeah, I guess. We have an unowned bed. What's the worst that could happen? Right? Alright, come on in. Welcome to the party. Yeah, all these are spoken for. Now, all these, of course, are spoken for, too. Sai has some tattered apparel and some tattered body parts. He should have gotten patched up, though. Yeah, yeah, it looks like he did. Alright, we'll have to restore his tail and his middle finger. <laughs> Yay, robotic arms are done. Okay, Devlin has joined us. She is 16, we knew that. She does not like dumb labor. She is already practiced in the Ken way of, uh, way the Ken say blade and shotgun. Iron willed, which is fantastic. Quick sleeper, which is great. Fast walker, which is good. Brawler! Ah! Okay, well, at least you can still use the blade. You are a blade dancer, after all. That's still really good. Did she come with a weapon? She, of course, did not. Looks like she was a USFM mercenary at one point. Okay. Alright. I'm not gonna give you that really good blade. Uh, stats are fine. Likes intellectual, so got another researcher on the docket. Got another artistic worker. So, welcome to the group. Where the hell is your name on here? Probably should find that out before I uh, try to find them, huh? Uh, Devlin, the bookworm. Okay. Also, Dexta, you should have uh, one in here as well. And here. Uh, you like doing medical, Dexta, so I'm going to put you at a two on that. Uh, you also like working with animals, so I'm going to put you at a three on that. Hunting. We'll leave that at three. You do like growing, so I'm going to put that higher for Dexa. It, it is going to be worth it to still have some people who do plant work. But research, writing, definitely things I want Devlin to do. Devlin can mainly be a researcher. She loves doing it. She could do art when we have some more space to do art. It'll work out great, I think. That's a lot of goldfish. <laughs> Brant has found us a ton of goldfish, apparently. All right, Devlin. I mean, you have a skill already, which is nice. It means I can actually move you ahead of Dexa on this list here. It's too bad you don't like using shoddies, though. Yo, what are we making this out of here? Uranium? Uran no. We're not making it out of uranium, okay? I know I said I don't care what you make it out of, but... Uranium, dude? Make it out of iron. That's, th that's silver, Fed. Iron. Okay? I want it something that we can we can part with easily. And iron is that thing. We are Is our team resting here? 
No, we're just walking right past uh, Razor's Quarry and hoping they don't notice us, I guess. 0.4 days until tax time. Heck yeah, my dudes. Alright, we're just waiting for that machine frame now. Is that what you're working on, Mr. Mask? It is. Okay. So I'm thinking what we'll do is actually put the meat grinder here. Put the vacuum here. Oh, no, that doesn't cover the whole room. Uh, this would cover the whole room. It actually, only needs to, doesn't need to cover the whole room. What am I talking about? It only needs to cover these three things here. So that'll do it. Have it so that it picks up corpses. Corpses go here. Then they go into the meat grinder. Then they get ground up. And then it gets spat out as meat. And then eventually someone puts it in a place. Bada bing bada boom, baby. We're already working on getting stuff moved together. If we do that, we can actually get rid of this electric butcher. Well, kind of. We still need to make silage. And I didn't put it into a place where it could likely do that. So we'll probably let this do the slaughtering. And we'll probably let them work together. I don't think it matters that much. A little bit of, little bit of manual work never hurt anybody, right? 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 Anyway, yeah, this this being done at all times is going to be huge for our our block gains. Like, absolutely humongous. I find it interesting that I can do some of the things that you do here in the, cra in the uh, art bench. I doubt it's, like, good at them, but it's interesting that it has them there. Dude, beauty, go get some food. Stop cutting... Chunks. Stop cutting chunks. Go eat a cheeseburger. Alright. Frick. Devlin, how you doing? Picked up a nice coat, it looks like. You're gonna go do some research. Alright. Well, your expectations are not great, but also your mood break chances are extremely low, and I love that. She's in. She's researching. Love it. Say hello to your robotic uh, research assistants. Uh, Reed, Michael, and Reese. They're here, and they are great at what they do. And what they do is pretty darn nice. They do research. EMI shielding is almost done. Right, I kind of want to make sure that the meat grinder goes up first. Uh, no, the, please. No, please understand. Uh, you grab corpses. Animal corpses. Okay. So someone get that meat off of there. So that the corpses can go on. Care Bear! Making me another machine frame? No, making a drone. EMI shielding is done. We can now make a flare shield. Where in the hell does that sit? Miscellaneous, maybe? Uh, or power. It would make sense of it. There it is. Magnetic shield. Automatically switches on to protect the entire colony from EMI, including that caused by solar flares. Tremendous power drain when, and considerable heating when operational. So you don't want to put it inside a room. We'll put it right here for now, although we do have a Venometric power cell coming in. I just want to get it built. Speaking of built, BuilderBot has done it. All right. Butcher creature forever. Easy enough, right? Allow using forbidden. Slap it down right here when you're done. Rare thrombos have arrived in the area. Oh my god, that's a lot of thrombos. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen six in one in one thing. Yo, uh, Kalizo. No spot to put this bear meat? How is there no spot to put the freaking bear meat? I'm actually mad. This is full. This is full. 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 Well, that tells us two things. One, we need a bigger freezer. Uh, but also, apparently, we need more spots to put the freaking bear meat. Um, that sucks. It means we have to move the hopper for now. So I guess move the hopper here. And then we'll have this actually pump it out right there or closest to it. Okay, Kalizo, move the hopper instead. 
Yeah, let's jump right over the giant grinder. We do not have enough space in here, obviously, but... Beside the point. Powered, and yeah, 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 yo! That's all there is to it. So how much meat does a rhinoceros usually give you? About 304? I, I'm curious to see how much it actually gives us. All right, there's the uh, horse meat. The <laughs> glorious um, rhino meat. Put it up here. Oh, there's the leather. Oh, I didn't see where to put the actual meat. Well. Oh, there's some plain leather. Oh, that's probably from the horse, too. Oh, yeah, because it's, it's spitting things out as much as it can. Right. We definitely need a bigger freezer. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we have a project next time. Because that's going to be it for this episode of That Plays RimWorld of Magic Royalty 1.2. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more. Because keep letting me know stop coming because that's what it do. Thanks again for watching this episode of RimWorld of Magic Royalty 1.2. My name is Thet, and I'll see you in the next video. My friendos. With the automatos. Oh, auger drill is going to be done soon. I'm here for it.